My mother always told me you're just like everybody else. And it's so true. Every single person has some type of disability. Some are just more visual and you can see them. My name's Jarda and I am the youngest of four. I have two older brothers and an older sister. And I was born in London, Ontario, but my family lived on a farm in Zurich, Ontario, which is about 45 minutes north of here. When I was just under three, July 29th, 1985, I got in a farm accident and became an amputee. How people treat you can affect you in many different ways, and it's all about how you view it. Um, I am a very competitive person and I love a challenge. So, you know, when, when somebody doesn't treat me the way I think that they should, it definitely, it hurts for a moment, but then I realized that the issue is theirs. The issue is not mine. And, you know, and, and it just, it challenges me to get out there and to break down those barriers and, and to change those images that people have that are, that are not always correct. I mean, yes, you always, you're gonna get a pity party sometimes from some people and, and that's not what I that's not what I want. I mean I, I want to be accepted and I want to be viewed to to have the same value as anyone else. And so that's what I strive to do and that's how I personally treat everybody. I want people to to respect me just because I'm a person, not because of these great accomplishments that I've had. Because not everyone is gonna have those accomplishments, but they still should be respected and valued. Dave Shaler, who was the recreation therapist in Sarnia, I mean, one little question has shaped my entire life to this point. I mean, he asked, he asked a nine-year-old kid if they wanted to play, and that just sounds so simple, and it sounds like it happens every day, but to me, it was so huge. It was the boost of confidence and built my, you know, built my esteem to where it is. Like, before this, you know, I was a kid who sat at home and watched TV after school. I didn't do anything. I didn't really have a lot of friends, and he kind of just gave me the opportunity to get out there and, and find my thing. And I mean, from there, you know, I, I found a dream and I chased it down and beat it into submission. And I, um, and you know, I, I've traveled the world. I've met amazing people. I've done great things. I went on and became a recreation therapist myself. So I feel like he's had a great, huge, I shouldn't even say great, a huge impact on my life that came from something that seems so simple. I started motivational speaking in 2000. Um, at the 2000 Sydney Paralympic Games, I won a gold medal on the relay team and set a world record. And when I came home, people wanted to hear about it. I did a lot of community groups. I started going to churches and, and different groups like that and Rotary clubs and things like that. And just telling them about my story and what had happened when I was there. And I just got a, I got a spark from it. I, I just loved how positive people were and, and what their responses were to me. Whoa. And <laughs> I had people coming up to me and telling me how much they loved my story and how much they enjoyed listening to me and how, how it made them want to do things and, and set their own goals and you know and to me that had a huge impact and so it's just kind of something that I've just continued to do over the years and I mean my story has changed and evolved as time has gone on and and I think that I've kind of honed in on what my kind of key messages I want to get out there to the world are. My favorite quote in the whole wide world is never grow a wishbone daughter where a backbone ought to be and to me that quote simply says that Dream, dream big things, but know that you're gonna have to do hard work in order to make those dreams become reality. And I think today, in today's world, so many people want things this instant. You know, they, they, they think of something and they want instant gratification. And that's not the way that true dreams and goals are accomplished. Like you have to work hard and you have to sacrifice and you have to push yourself if you want amazing things to happen for you. And so that's, that's the one big thing that I, I like to talk about. And then the other, my other big message is, um, it's kind of appropriate for me, but it's all in the bounce. It's all in how you come back from things. Like everyone is going to experience heartache or everyone is gonna experience moments when they fail. And it's all about how you come back from that failure or how you come back from that disappointment that people are gonna remember. And that's the part that's gonna shape you as a person and shape your character.